Hey guys, and welcome back to the High King, Byron the Second of the Sunrise Throne. He may not be the nicest Redox we've been, and probably he is uh, the, the, the meanest uh, Redox we've been. I think that's pretty easy to say, but he has brought, shall we say, some safety to the Sunrise Throne. He took down the rebellions, and he's actually appeased his vassals by giving out certain lands. And by ally, well not ally, but kind of getting the, uh, shall we say, the favour of the Fossaway family. Because the Fossaway family are possibly, except for the Tyrells, the strongest family in the Reach. And we had to give it away because the Reach was just going to rebel at any point in time because they hate High King Byron. And to be honest, we don't care. We want the rock. That's what we want. And that's where my daughter will come in. Our next goal must be to secure the rock. How are we going to do that though? That is a difficult question. Now there is the Tyrell boy. He does have a claim on that, but he's already getting married. We got some girls here. She's a bit old maybe. She's 39, not too old though. His kids will not inherit a claim. There are some potential things here. His kids will inherit a claim for that. So we do have a couple of girls there, but we can't marry them to my daughter. So getting that claim might not be too easy. We'll have to wait and see how things go. We'll let time move on. We'll let things settle down a bit. But hopefully we can find an opportunity to take the rock. I don't want to do these de jure claims because they're so small. It'll be one at a time. We'll open both of us up to be attacked by the Iron Throne. Because remember, the rock also has to defend itself from the Iron Throne. It's really us two here right now. So if I just weaken him, they'll just eat it up anyway. Then it makes more difficult stuff for me. So I'd rather just take the whole thing in one go. My courtier, Bori, practically lives in the kitchens, the little glen. I really don't care about this kid. Why would I care? Um, let's just pray for his soul. These kids that we don't care about, pray for them. When he actually cares, he beats them. That's just how he is. When he actually cares and he thinks he needs to do something, he'll probably beat them. Your grace news from the storm's end of a great trial. Okay, Mr. Penrose was sent to the wall. Well, I mean, you know, there could be worse fates. You know, your family could be completely wiped out. By a damn Lannister. Ugh. But yes. Much worse fates. Much worse fates indeed. Uh, they use the favor, the force of faction. How's the factions looking then? Right now, we should. there's a Crown Lois. Yeah, she's in the Crown. There we go. The Fozaway's in the Crown Lois faction. She's 22 as well. So hopefully she'll live for a long time. Uh, my kiss says her favorite toy is missing. Why? Why would I... Why would I care? She's not my kid. Oh, fine. We'll just, just buy her a new one. I don't think I'd actually bother going off to find it myself. Yeah. He doesn't care enough. He'll just buy her a new one. My offer to purchase a new toy was rejected. Huh, she was upset I'd even suggest such a thing. Stupid kids. Get out of here. Morlock V. Lee currently enjoys the title of King of Trader Town. However, he currently holds no legal right to keep this royal style. Should we allow them to be kings? Technically, should we? Would he? I don't think he would. Yeah, he he kind of wants to kind of put himself as the opposite to the Iron Throne. I feel like, especially we've known ourselves the Sunrise Throne. So yeah, I'll suffer no other kings. You may be a Lord Paramount of Trader Town, I say, but no king you shall be. Reachman Westerland is your war over Tumbleton. Okay. So she's actually going about this herself. She has 27,000 men. There we go. Okay, she's going to make the choice for She's going to take Tumbleton. Tumbleton is a good piece of land. This one right here. Currently owned by the Guildford family from the Reach. How far does this go back? They've had it for quite a while, actually, since the father. Yeah, they used to be in Ivy Hall. Yeah, they've been in Ivy Hall for a long time, but they, they got Tumbleton nowadays. They, they've risen up. You know, their family have come up in the world a little bit. Good for them. And two kids, Jason Redox. He's very good at diplomacy and intrigue, so I guess like courtier stuff. Yeah, counselors and courtiers would make sense. Plus, he's got OK Marshall, so he could learn to, you know, be better at fighting. My actual princess, she's good at fighting and stewardship. So, what would she like then? Uh, fight, thrift maybe? Like, because it could be fussy. Duty maybe? Pride? She could be very proud of her abilities. Let's give her pride. I could see hiking Byron go maybe towards pride a bit more. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the zealous nature of him maybe would push him away from that. 
it's hard. It's hard because some zealous people. It's pride is a really weird one, especially when it comes to religious stuff. Because some religious people are very proud of their sort of religiousness, shall we put it? They're, they're proud of their zealousness, um, even though they know it's a sin. They can't help it. Um, I can do a good example. Would be something like um, if any of you guys ever watched or. or seen the the musical the story or the the movie you know the hunchback of notre dame the the guy in that is obviously very zealous he's very pious but he's actually extremely proud because he's extremely pious or at least he sees himself as pious it's an interesting thing you know pride is probably the one that sneaks up on people the most like when people when people try to not fall for the sins pride is probably one of the ones that sneaks up on people the most okay she's gone better she's gone poor fighter not too bad. Everything else around the world seems to be okay. What is this? What is this? Look at this. Queen uh, Tanatena of Mantares. Oh, she made her own little kingdom. That's pretty nice. I don't normally get to see them do that, actually. She worships the gods of Loraf, and she's Lorafi. Okay. Fine. Uh, very good for him. Yunkai has expanded quite a bit then, Slaver's base. Kind of Yunkai and New Gis are the only two there. They've eaten up a lot of the Shepherd's lands as well. Marine has been still around, but they've been pushed back a lot. I think Calf has actually fixed a ruin or two. Did they? Or is this before those ruins were... I'm pretty sure they fixed a ruin or two. Your incompetent Hand of the King has let a group of smugglers into the country. Great. Curses. Um, that's not what we need. A sigh, obviously, down here. E.T. still in the south. Still a, a potential threat for us, but we're fine. <laughs> I keep just seeing the sunrise froze. It's, I need to get used to seeing that and not Nefer. We saw Nefer for so long. But just in case you're wondering how long this series will be, guys, like I said before, my, I wanted to try and get our main names done, so we are going to still try and get our homeland and kill as many Lannisters as possible. Um, after that, we're based upon... Holy Fury, you guys know probably Holy Fury will be released at some point soon. I'll probably keep playing this series unless we finish all the goals until Holy Fury comes out. If I do not finish the goals before Holy Fury comes out, then that could be a problem. But I think we should be able to finish it before Holy Fury comes out. We still have quite a while for that to come out. We should. I don't think it's going to be too hard for us to finish the goals now in our situation. Unless things go really badly wrong, then we'll just say you know it was a failure. But yeah, Janella. No, she's not my kid. I don't care. I'm not charitable. Um, Sinestral, what do we go with here? Sinestral, what do I want? I don't know. I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them as the Hand of the King. I guess Shock Sai, maybe, because at least he's a vassal. These are the only choices. Okay, we'll go for him. We don't have many choices yet, because we've given away lots of the land. That's a thing, yeah. Ooh, this guy's... Just, I could make him the regent. Our guy is zealous. So, yeah, maybe he would make the re... He's going to make the septon the regent. Because he's very zealous. He's like, well, if I happen to die before my daughter gets the age, I want a pious man to make sure he leads on the right forward to glory. We have many heathens in our lands. We need to make sure she doesn't get corrupted by these sons of bitches. Like that. And make sure we convert them. That we did... Yeah, we did lose that piece of land. We have 500 gold again, once again. Obligate the vassal. Mm, let's, say ob let's go for obligate, I think. Thank you for reminding me. Good to see. Everyone really needs to go out and meet the peasants in person from time to time, just to make sure that they know you still exist, if nothing else. As you visit the locals of Pichu, you speak very frankly about what you think of them. Something that they took great offense to, it seems. Hmm. I could run to Master Juan and hide there. Maybe I can just outrun them. Now, he does not like me. Would I really trust... Yeah, I'm paranoid. I don't think I'd even trust my vassal. Yeah. God will give us strength. I can outrun them. Was I okay? Oh, I'm okay. Okay. He actually did outrun them. Very good. Hi, King Byron. You're a beast. Nothing's taken him down right now. I caught my ward, Serian, lying to me again straight to my face. Uh, we don't... I don't think we really care. He's not family. He's not even family. Actually, who's educating my daughter? I am. Should it really be me? Let's just check. Let's just check there's not anyone better. Um, what's she good at currently? She's good. She's getting good at fighting, actually. Let's get her a good fighter. Yeah, she's going to be my only child. 
Let's make her a warrior daughter. That could be fun. Osifer Redox. If I take away his royal privileges, he's got skill, but he's also a lunatic, so... Probably don't want to leave my daughter with him. I, I, I mean, he's not... His, his traits aren't great, are they? Then again, no one has very good traits, to be honest, at our, our place. Maybe it should just be me, then. Yeah, maybe I should just educate her. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just, edu I'll just educate her then for now. There's no one else I really trust her to go with. Um, any new claims have popped up that I haven't noticed. Sarsfield, Great Wick. No, nothing that really... The only one I'd really declare war for would be Case. Like, if we could declare war for Case, that might be something I'd think about. The Case does seem to be independent. I thought before it was the Mega War system, but they actually seem to be independent. Which is pretty nice. Hmm, the Ironborn control it. Merlin family. 4,000 men. I could claim feast fires, but I want the whole thing. Let's see if we can find someone who has a claim to case. There should be, like, there's some Kennins. There should be some Kennins about. Okay, this girl. We should be getting then. That guy's a drowned man. That guy's not married. Yeah, we should probably marry one of these to our family if we can get them. Does she want to come to our court? No. Okay, how about we marry you to some... Is there any men in our family? No. Betrothal, then? We have a couple. We've got Lum, Jason, Seven. Yeah, they wouldn't accept that. Okay, I don't think we can get to our court. What about the guy, then? Do we have any girls for him? Safari and Kennen. What is it? A weak claim. It's not the best claim, either, but we'll see what we can do. We've got Amelia, my sister. No. Yeah, he's not going to do matrilineal... And then again, if no, if I do normal, she'll go live with him, so that won't work either, in fact. Uh, my kid, yeah, she's not going to accept any others, is he? Yeah, if he won't accept that one, he's not going to accept anything else. Unless maybe it's my daughter. No, not even the daughter. Yes, he's not going to let them get married. Okay, fine. I'll have to find another way to try and take case. Damn, I thought maybe we could do it. Bravos need aid. We're not going to get involved. Why would we get involved? Why do we care about what's going on in the free cities? He doesn't care. He does not care at all. Yeah, I can't see a way for us to go get that. Use the favor. What's this? Under attack from Norvos. Why is everyone in the free cities getting attacked? One day we'll come for you, Case. One day. So even if I take the rock now... We actually wouldn't get our actual ancestral homeland, which is kind of funny. When I, oops. I, my mouse accidentally clicked that one there. I was actually just going down. It has any, I need to buy, I said this before, I need to buy a damn mouse. Why do I never get to go downtown these days? Uh, oh, well, it's fine. But yeah. Um, actually, yeah, if we take the rock, we wouldn't actually get case. So we could take the rock, but we wouldn't even have our ancestral homeland, which is kind of funny. In that regard. Uh, we are sick chest pains. How old's my daughter? Let's do it. I'm glad I hired him. Good job, Riken. Okay, she's only eight. Yeah, I need to survive a little bit longer. At least eight more. You need to survive to at least 40. Really. And now I'm vomiting. That's that's not a good sign either. I accepted the peace offer. Okay, so we made peace with the trident. I watched my courtier Antari at play with a child yesterday and knows that he didn't want to share his toys. I, I don't care. We'll pray for him. Oh no! What? What? I, okay, we had a slight sign obviously with the sickness, but I really didn't think I was going to kill him. And not that quickly. My, my mace just did a good job of healing me. Oh no. This could be a problem. We have a lot of money. You know what, let's, let's give my father a funeral. He did come and conquer the Reach. He brought the family back. We don't normally do this unless we have money, but we actually have money. All the lords and ladies of the realm are invited, yes. To make sure people remember that I'm still his daughter. He may be dead, and I may be a very young girl, but he... And the Septon's my regent, yeah. The one time I've given the regency away, well, probably not the first time, but the, the one of the few times I've done it and we actually die too soon. High King Byron II has taken his last breath at the age of 32. That's it. He died clutching at his heart. Guilty. It's a good job we had this girl. Because if she dies, we're in trouble, actually. Because 
the sisters I had were all with my Tyrell mother, and she married them off normal marriages. So yeah, uh, Byron will be forever be known as a Kinslayer. Huh, maybe that was the what killed him. May the gods have mercy on him, for no man is so cursed as the Kinslayer. Queen Amabel, merely eight years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Queen Amabel. I was actually, I was looking forward to being a, an evil guy for a bit longer. We didn't really get to be that evil. Oh well, oh well, oh well, that ends well. So here we go, Queen Amabel. She's eight years old, she has six martial already, and she's hearty. That, that's it. This child is proud and vain, convinced of their own superiority. That sounds like the daughter of Byron. That sounds like the daughter of Byron. So if she dies, it goes to her, and it'll go to these Tullys. Ugh. Tullys could inherit the sea, uh, the sunrise, I was about to say the sea rise, the sunrise throne. Our regent, of course, is the Septon. Uh, stressed man, he's, he's just become the regent of the entire throne, so yeah, he's probably a little bit stressed because of that. Uh, we're going for pride there. We need to make sure we have a good educator. Let's go for Ossifer. He is family, he's the king of Engai, he's probably the most influential member of our family. And he's got good marshals. Let's just go for that then. My mother probably would not. She's a craven, so I definitely don't want her to educate me. That'd be a bad idea. The council's discontent, though. Let's make sure. You know, a new queen, a new council. Hand of the king. We'll keep it as him. Master of laws. And oh, we gave the reach away. Now that bonus is gone because he's dead. I was hoping that'd be a long and fruitful relationship, but seems like it won't be. Uh, we'll keep Louis Redox. He's actually a vassal. Better keep the vassals happy for now. Same with this guy. They may not be good, but we need to keep them happy. Can he actually train children? 7%? Let's try it. Try it. Go on. Just a foot shits and giggles. Uh, Master of Coin. Yeah, we'll keep him as well. Master of Whispers. He actually is the best one. He actually likes us. Wow. People might actually like this. People might like this girl more than they liked her father. Which is actually not... I don't know why I'm surprised of that. That should be pretty obvious. And there we go. So the council set. Oversee the realm. Yep, happy with this. Done and dusted. Any other titles? Nope. Okay. Council Discontent. Um, that obviously is the only place we can choose. Commanders can be done. When we go to war, we can choose some commanders. And yeah, I guess I need a bodyguard, actually. That would be kind of nice. She's a little girl. We have one bodyguard. Abakid. Okay. Abakid Duck. He's our body. He's the only bodyguard. Okay. My father's bodyguard will do. And there we go. Let's hope that... This does not lead to chaos. Independence faction already. The moneylenders are here seeking repayments for my father's debts. They will have their 500 gold. Yep, I'm just a little girl. The invitation was sent out. I could have paid them actually, but I had this funeral instead. <laughs> was spent lavishly. It will be the greatest feast ever. All the lords of the Reach must come to the East in Pichu to celebrate my... Well, not, sorry, not celebrate. To mourn my father's death. Well, celebrate his life, we'll say. That, that's fine. Oh, they gave Dawn away, I think. Uh, I'm from Great Wick War. And the Fowlers have been given Dawn. Okay, interesting choice. Interesting choice indeed. All the guests have arrived. How's Brimstone? The Norland family. Uh, Trader Town used the favor. So he is a Lord Paramount, yeah. Surprised it didn't happen also for Engai. I was surprised that didn't pop up with uh, the royal thing. That was well spoken, thank you. Ah, oh, that's a good see. Uh Psy Shock. He's a good oh, he's a crazy guy. Eh, he said nice things, so he's crazy he's a good crazy guy, maybe. The funeral. As the silent sisters finish the preparations of the deceased, the first king of the sunrise throne, High King Byron the Second, is brought to the local sept and laid atop the altar at its centre. Can this can this kingdom survive underneath the new queen, the eight year old girl? Can it survive? I'm hope I hope we can. I think I think it might. If this is the initial problems here, I think we'll be fine. Septon John, using his powers as regent, decided to remove Lord Paramount from his position on your council. Wow, why? Clearly thought that he was unsuitable. It's because of the religion, isn't it? <gasps> the Septon is trying to force his religious stuff. He's like, the people of Westeros will have a higher priority in these lands, or the Redox family. You, gods of ye tea people, you do not deserve a place on the council. That, that's what I think is going on here. There's, oh, yes. 
It was a uh, advisor, wasn't it? There we go. Anyone else is really not a vassal. I could make my mother. That was my aunt. My mother could be made it. We could make my mother it. Yeah, let's make my mother it. You know, she's an important woman. New Lord Commander, Commander Lyman Erinford, the Exile. The Exile. What do you mean about vassals? I mean, there's lots of exiles. How did he get that name? Why did he specifically get that name? Has he been exiled for so long? I don't know. Um, ooh, yeah, he's in a faction now. Yeah, King Osifer for the sun. Him and Osifer both work. The East people are working together. Yeah, they don't like the fact that the West is becoming the main focus, maybe. What would, I mean, she wouldn't do anything. She's eight years old. He, though, he's rude, proud, greedy, and cruel. He'd, he'd blackmail. Yeah, he'd probably blackmail. Blackmail him. Though I curse your name, I shall comply with your unfair demands. Excellent. Good job, Regent. Good job. That acceptance in my father made a good choice. At a meeting of your Regency Council, Lord Elmeri Parvalo's position on the council was put under question. Your master whispers... Maynard Chaswell called a vote to have him removed. A vote which passed. Lord Elmery has been fired as a result. So some very powerful men getting outmaneuvered by some of the weaker people. Like, this guy has no lands. And he put his he put it to a vote. A master with, with oof, okay. Okay, some suspicious things going on these days. Chief General. Who should we make the Chief General? I guess this guy. Twan. He's the only one there, really. Yep, yeah, just uh, organize the army, I guess. He inherited that. I'm out playing with Alian, and we're so close to the abandoned haunted house, we're not supposed to go there. And Alian is looking frightened. Go inside, turn back. Well, she is hearty. She is convinced of her own superiority. I think she'd go inside, wouldn't she? Yeah. She'd go inside. Alian says we have to go back now, and if we don't, she will tell on me. At least I tried. At least we tried, didn't we? Amabel, you're like your father. Strong convictions, doesn't she? Look at Bravos, though. Bravos, oh, okay. He's having a bit of problems there. How is the High Sea Lord? What wars are this? War of Emancipation? Okay. Force them to join factions. Uh, Nor Norvos and Bravos both doing a pretty decent job right now. The South looks normal. The inheritance of Manti has been thrown to question. So Manti is now a bit of a problem down there. And they've gone with King Raharian Ribaga. Gone back to a M M Mantarian. No longer a person from Lorath. So maybe that's good. And look at this Dothraki. What? Kofo. Look at him. Ariso. Karl Kofo. Karl Kofo. He's a crazy lunatic with gout on his foot, apparently. 41 years old. Look how... Look at that. He could take out anyone. Raid on Hesh. And he's going for the very small... Um, <laughs> the, the sort of shepherd people. A meeting of your council. Lord Sai Shock's position on the council is put under question. Your guardian, King Ossifer Redux, called a vote on him. A vote which passed. He's been fired as a result. Another person taken out of the council. When will it end? Am I just going to run out of people? I guess we'll go for Juan. He'll be my new hand of the king, I guess. An elephant's gone crazy. He's running a muck in the town outside the castle. He's already killed several people. What shall we do? Send soldiers to kill it. I think the septum would do that. He's a cruel man. Send soldiers to kill it. Well, at least the town is safe now. A son was born. Okay. Named Gowan Redox. Okay. Oh, nope, he's a bastard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. Whose bastard is he? Huh? We see word of a great scandal from the court in Pichu. Apparently a group of conspirators have found evidence that Gowan is not the child of Betley, no, but the bastard of an illicit affair by Rosamond. Betley Nar was convinced and he stripped Gowan of his inheritance and family name. Okay, but... His mother's a... So, let, let me get this straight. Okay, so the father is a Baratheon. There we go, that's why. Harlan the Decadent of a Blue Burn. Yep, okay, that makes sense then. Okay, there we go, that, that's sort of figured that out. He's technically a Baratheon. Scandal indeed! I mean, the little girl doesn't understand. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. My master arms has discovered a man of great military talent called Pan. 
who's willing to serve in my ranks. Ooh, look at that. Look at that badass. You should you should you should educate me. Educate me, Pan. Yes, there we go. Skilled fighter, one eye. Oh, why am I doing God, <laughs> What is wrong with me? I'm gonna get married to him. It's going a bit too far. I just want you to educate little get the little girl, not marry her. It's a bit too soon for marriage. And and not to you. You're too low. But we'll get Pan to educate us. I think that could be kind of fun. You could actually make her into a good fighter. Now, why is this popped up? Is there... Yeah, bloody flux. Okay, kind of thought that might be it. It is now here. Let's close the gates. Seal it. She's a young girl. We're going to seal her off from the world to protect her. Maynard Chazel has been a leal and able servant. Um, we should probably give him something. Then again, my Septonia would be in charge. He's rude and stuff, yeah. I owe him nothing. I think the Septon would agree that she probably owes him nothing. Um, where's the... Where's Ravenheart? There we go. There's Ravenheart. I can't hold it right now because we're too young. But we could sell the knife. We might be able to sell it. Oh, God. Stupid game. Stupid game when it's damn knives you can't sell. King Wald of the Rock lost. There we go. We got Tumbleton. Finally, I was wondering when that war might end. There you go. That looks a lot nicer now. And they got back K, so that's good. So maybe it was a mega war system. Yeah, because obviously we were at war with them over Tumbleton. So maybe that was it. Okay. That probably was it. But soon. Soon war will come. Slave raid. My father... Did not abide slaves, but maybe I do. I don't know. Master Whispers is gone. Spy Master will go. <laughs> he doesn't really like us. I mean, we could get him to like us. Come on. Send a gift. I have lots of money. I could repay the loan. I could definitely repay that loan. Where is it? Where is it? Repay the loan. 500 gold. Do it. There we go. Hopefully, that will get the Iron Bank off our bank. In the future, so this little girl will be okay. Okay, I'm happy with things so far. We're getting older. Things are moving slowly. Lord Treasurer, Amelia Redox, my aunt, I'll have to do for now. There's there's not really anyone else, to be honest. So I attack the North. Attack the North. As I mean, if you're re Actually, the North or the Rock would be fine, because I'd still go for our goals of beating up the Lannisters. So I could also try and get the North as well. Uh, Pan? Yeah, let's make Pan the chief general now, then. Let's make him it. Train children? Once the gates are open, he'll be able to train children. Once it's open. Uh, Lum Redox, what do you want? Money and learning and stuff. Uh, just do duty. I've gained a friend. Okay, Jason has become my friend. That's... Well, I mean, that's nice, you know. It's always nice to see the young girl making friends. But yeah, we can also... Not just look at the rock, we can also look at the north. The north would be harder because it is underneath the Iron Throne, but then you never know if the Mega War happens, it could give us an opportunity to take advantage of the chaos and take the north, just like Balon Greyjoy did, or tried to at least, um, in the main series. But there we go. Okay, we're going to end this part here. It's a new queen. How, where will this take us? I wonder, do you guys think that Amabel has... The potential to be a good ruler. She has already got 37,000 men behind her. So she does seem to have the support of the Fozaways, definitely. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, opinion of predecessor plus 44. That's good to see. So do you think she's going to be a good ruler? Do you think she'll be able to do some good things? I, 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 I feel pretty... I'm interested. I, I think there's good potential here. And I think if we can get her the right marriage, potentially... You know, that maybe the Rock or the North could be our next destination. We'll wipe the Lannisters off from one of those kingdoms. One, you just go take out one of them. We'll be halfway there. But until then, I'll see you then. Say goodbye to the Sunrise Throne. Goodbye.